as a ball of this particular mass and then it is thrown vertically up into the air and then the ball has a certain speed and the resistive force acting on the ball which is capital F. So what is the value of the acceleration when the ball is rising and falling? So mentally I can work out the answer uh, but I thought a cool way would be to use a simulation to help students to visualize. So the first thing to do is you need to come to this URL, click on this link and then you'll be brought to this particular simulation then you select uh, because by default I have made the simulation to have no air resistance so if you want a small amount of air resistance I can click on this small air resistance uh, because I want to see what happens when it goes up so I will drag the ball down uh, somewhere here arbitrarily you know uh, then I can then also drag this to increase the velocity and then you can see that as you increase the speed or the velocity upwards the drag force actually uh, points in the opposite direction as the velocity proportionately uh, in the opposite direction to the velocity so this actually is adding up the two forces downwards so the acceleration will be a, a very large value uh, la more negative than uh, negative 9.81 because you have to add these two values up so if I click if I try to click play and then pause because this is a very fast simulation so I'll click play and then I'll pause it so as you can see that it, at first it is somewhere here and then because of these two values it actually adds up so I can actually toggle the follow the free body diagram and then I can see as the ball fall up so as a fall as the ball fall up when it was going up that time it was this region then when it reaches somewhere about uh, minus 9.81 in the acceleration value then it will be at the very top of the motion and then when it is uh, going downwards so you can find that actually the force the, the drag force is now pointing upwards because the velocity is down so the drag force is up acceleration continues to be pointing downwards so this mg subtracting the kv will then give you a smaller value than 9.81 negative so you can see there's actually a, a lesser number here so if i continue to step you can see that it actually eventually falls onto the ground and then uh, this is uh, just before it pauses uh, before it hits the ground so this actually gives you a very uh, quick way to verify that the value would be actually uh, answer is c okay answer is c